Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 is very close to hitting the PTU and eventually over to the live servers. I think CIG's intent is to have this out um, for the upcoming free fly and I think that's towards the end of the month of May. So it's really exciting times. We're going to get this patch sooner than we think. Hopefully um, it is much more smoother than uh, 318 itself. Um, but what I want to do in this video is I want to talk about why I'm excited for Star Season Alpha 3.19. Before we get into the video, I'd like the new people to know that we're going to give away for the Great Cat STD for the month of April. All you got to do to participate is to subscribe and leave a comment in any video between the month of April. All right. So the very first reason why I'm really excited for Star Citizen Alpha 3.19 is the mining update. What they've spoken about based on what we found in the leaks when it comes to the patch notes. To hear the fact that they're talking about rebalancing the mining equipment itself, right? So when it comes to the mining heads, like subcomponents, the laser powers for different sizes, it's, it's, uh, I think it's, uh, it was much needed. And I, it seems like um, for the past few uh, patches, mining hasn't been really a thing for most people. So I think they were just holding out until this release to actually finally drop it in one big patch. And... Um, they haven't disappointed man this is a big patch it's a big update when it comes to the economy side of things and content so the one of the things that really excites me is the fact that um the laser sizes whether it's size one and two right now in the current build they have the same amount of power output which i think is incorrect it shouldn't be like a size two should have significantly more power than a size one so the fact that they're going to make that uh, um, a thing in uh, 319 is really good this way the mole can go on and take on the bigger rocks while the prospectors are limited based on um, power output to the smaller rocks you know it, it encourages multi crew gameplay for sure for the mole and that's really good um, what they mentioned in the patch notes from what I remember is that the mole itself will be able to easily um sustain um stability on rocks when it's uh trying to fracture rocks because if it has the same it have multiple mine heads on the same rock it helps out the mole in turn in terms of instability itself to help fracture some of the more difficult rocks um but if you're running two prospectors on or multiple prospectors on a, on a rock it's going to be a debuff in terms of instability so they're really trying to encourage the multi-crew gameplay, which I, I, mean, I am all for that. And um, right now, I think the mo has been left out in the dark um, when it comes to mining. So I think this patch, this is a patch for the mo. So it's really exciting stuff. You know, when it comes to ore distribution, they did mention that they're going to redistribute the ore in a more systematic way. Reason why I'm saying this is there are going to be certain there's going to be rarity levels when it comes to ore right there's going to be standard error there's going to be standard ores that you'll find everywhere but there's going to be certain ores that will be more rare i believe uh some of the examples is there's going to be common um ores that you'll find more frequent uncommon and then i think um one more and then, then there's rare and the rare one is that they sh gave as an example was quantanium so um, and then, for example, something more uncommon is um, like quartz or something like that. Um, so it's, uh, I think it's really exciting stuff. You know, if you want to mine a certain ore, you have to be in a certain, at a certain place. You have to be at a certain planet or a certain um, side of the star system to actually find that specific ore, right? So once you're able to extract it and you have that refined, then in order if you want to sell it for the maximum profit you have to send you have to go to the opposite side of the star system to actually make the really good profit and what they're doing with this is they're making they're essentially going to level it in terms of um how much money you can make from the other ores they're trying to level the playing field this way you can go out and mine other ores and make good money as opposed to always going after quantanium so that's really exciting for me. Um, I think that's that's huge. And another thing, when it comes to the types of ores that are there, there's going to be some certain 
subcomponents and mining heads that are really great for a certain type of ore so you got to make sure you have a specific build for um on your prospector or mole for that specific ore that you're going to get so it's going to um be really really good to have to come with different components different subcomponents um on your ship with you this way you can swap out as you need it it's um especially with the fact that they're going to be uh you're going to be able to detach um, attachment and, and hard points on the fly you know that's that's really good so uh really exciting stuff um when it comes to fps mining they want to encourage players into going into the new caves and exploring more so they introduced janelite which is going to be very rare but uh very lucrative as well so that's going to be some exciting stuff it encourages players to go out and explore me I'm, i like exploration so i don't mind going out into caves and actually finding these rocks i'll be uh, very interested in doing that in 319 when it comes to um the future i think i believe maybe after 319 we may look we may see the concept of mining contracts it's going to be similar to the salvage contracts that i did mention in the patch notes um and with salvage contracts is you pay for a certain you pay for the rights to go to a certain area to salvage right so and i think they're going to do the same thing with mining contracts and um what this insights is the way eve online kind of works right there's going to be certain areas where a certain type of ore is going to be at and it's going to be open for people to go and um you're going to have to go there and compete for it you know so depending on the type of contracts you get um, some contracts will allow exclusivity um, when it comes to who can actually jump to that area and there's going to be certain ones that's going to be open for the whole uh, server so there's going to be people out there competing for it when it comes to um, combat and mining itself so that's going to be some exciting stuff um, hopefully we see that a little bit later after not too long after uh, 319 itself Another thing, reason why I'm really excited is the salvage update that we're getting, right? The ability to detach and attach components at um, of derelict ships is huge. You know, you're going to be able to just imagine finding an XL1, finding some guns, some really cool guns that you don't have. Just get it and then just put it in your ship and attach it to one of your ships. That's going to be really cool. You know, be, being able to, um, when you find a derelict, being able to also find cargo on the derelict ships right so that's going to be a thing there's going to be cargo that you can actually go and extract from the derelict ships to actually put on your uh, vulture or reclaimer as extra earning potential for you so that's going to be some really exciting stuff so in turn this what this results in is salvaging is going to be very lucrative it's going to be very lucrative and what makes it even more ex and what makes it even more exciting is the fact that it's going to be salvage contracts where um, you'll be able to, like I said, with the mining, right? You'll be able to uh, get a contract, pay for the right to go salvage. There'll be there will be some that are going to be exclusive to you, but there's going to be some that you're going to be competing with others with. And based on the patch notes that we found that were leaked, I saw some that were going to be worth around 150,000 AUEC just to get rights to a certain area to salvage and that that means to me it's probably worth millions to salvage so that's some really exciting stuff these are some of the reasons why i'm excited for star season alpha 3.19 you guys let me know what are you guys excited for in the comments down below leave a like subscribe i'll see you on the next video